Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, a civilization that begins with Mardin, the ancient city of Dara, in their contributes to the settlement of the Artsakh problem under the auspices of OSC Minsk Group co-chairmanship. Ambassador Devali, the units of IRA armed forces did not open fire on the Azerbaijani positions. Ban on the return of Armenians in official documents, Said Chendinoglu. Where love stopped yesterday, the ghost village of Akhal Kalak, the French government government will finance a project to preserve the cultural heritage of Armenia. Let's support the state television company of Western Armenia. The ancient city of Dara in Western Armenia and its ruin as an important historical and architectural structure are one of the attractions of the city of Mardin. The ancient city located on the territory of the province of Mardin attracts the attention of visitors. Ancient Dara city is located 30 km from the historic city of Mardin. It was built by the Romans in the 500s in order to protect against the Sasanians and then used as a tomb. Until the 7th century, the city was a bone of contention between the Iranians and the Romans at different times. Scientific excavation and research have been carried out in Asian cities since 1986. India contributes to the peaceful settlement of the Artsakh issue under the species of OSC Minsk Group co-chairmanship. Ambassador of India to Armenia, N.S. Kishan Dan Deval, said this in an exclusive interview on the occasion of 13th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between the Republic of Armenia and the Republic of India, presenting his country's principal position on the settlement of Artsakh conflict. The ambassador stressed that India's conflict position is that any bilateral dispute should be resolved through peaceful negotiations, diplomatic dialogue, and mutual understanding and war the threat the force and violence have no place in such cases. Kishan Dan Deval also thanked the government of Armenia and the Armenian people for India's assistance in the issue of Jammu and Kashmir, which are an integral part of India. Western Armenia welcomes this statement recalling the territorial integrity of Armenia and emphasizes that there can be peace if this territory come out of the occupation of Turkey and Azerbaijan. The Minister of Defense of Azerbaijan has spread misinformation, stating that on the evening of July 8, a unit of Armenian armed forces opened fire on the Azerbaijani positions located on the eastern section of the Armenia-Azerbaijani border. The Minister of Defense informs that the situation on the Armenia-Azerbaijani border is relatively stable and is under full control of IRA armed forces. Historian, academician and professor Said Chetinoglu has repeatedly addressed the topic of genocide of Armenians in his extensive articles, presenting the truth of his program and the authors implementing it. Below we present to you an expert from the recently published article by Chetinoglu. It has been written many times about how during the genocide, the Armenians were expelled from their homeland and forced to walk the roads of death. In these long and cramped places of exile, they are very miraculously safe people. Today we owe those survivors almost all the information about the genocide process. Naturally, after the end of the war, these people would like to return to their homeland. We know that Armenians are bound to their homeland by any internal bond. Read the full article on our official website. No one has lived in a village of Kvarsha, Vakhakalak, for almost a century, but the life of the past is evidenced by the Church of St. Georg, stones by various purposes, and the indescribable beauty of the area. The ruins of the village remain in this picture's place. The church in the village of Kvarsha has been preserved completely better than other buildings, but it has also been destroyed. The remains of stone walls, ruin of houses, as well as great warehouses, have been preserved in the vicinity. From this area, there is a beautiful view of Parvana Gorge, the road of Akhaltsukh, and the village of Aspinza municipality are visible. The village and the church are mentioned in the book Javakh by Armenian historian Samuel Karapetyan. About 100 settlements of this region are preserved in this book. Until 1944, mass Muslims lived in Kvarsha. The village has been destroyed over the years. The latest research in Kvarza was carried out in the 19th of the last century. The Embassy of France in Armenia and Ministry of Education, Science, Culture and Sports of Republic of Armenia begin work on a project, Armenia Research Preservation and Expansion of Heritage, founded by the Solidarity Fund for Innovation Projects of the Ministry of Europe and Foreign Affairs of France. The program assesses France's commitment to supporting the preservation, restoration and strengthening of Armenia's cultural heritage. The French Embassy in Yerevan said in a statement, it is planned to strengthen and develop the skills of specialists in the restoration and preservation of cultural heritage through continuing education 
meditation courses. It is also planned to restore the Tate Monastery complex at first stage. Of course, it is planned to conduct the historical and architectural study of the monument, as well as organize the first volunteer work camp with the association Remparty and Terre et Culture. The third component is devoted to the reorganization and modernization of the permanent exhibition of the Erebuni Museum and is aimed at evaluating collections. It will be carried out jointly with the Louvre. Western Armenia highly appreciate the implementation of such programs aimed at preserving culture values. The state television company of Western Armenia, remaining true to its principle and the viewers, continues its uninterrupted work with new approaches. As you already know, our television broadcast mainly political and other news concerning the history, present and future of Western Armenia, as well as news raising various issues. We also present the events of President, the Government of National Assembly, and other structures of Western Armenia in a transparent and accessible manner. Dear compatriots, with your support, the possibilities of our television will expand and strengthen even more. We are stronger together. Now musical part Armenian folk song. <laughs> The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.